And the last bit we want to look at is something called refills. Refills are a little different than uh, bourbon bitters and neat in the in the way that they are, uh, you know, uh, thought out navigation patterns. Okay, so how we're going to use those? Let's just close the majority of these things here. Uh, get rid of these boxes and go into our home sass and just get rid of all this stuff. Okay. Now these patterns. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go into our body and I'm just going to copy the code and paste. Now I need to style it. So I'm going to, this is going to be a module, new file, uh, na uh, top nav dot CSS. And uh, in, the, in the modules directory, I'm going to say at import top nav. Now when I go to my rendered file, I should have this beautiful navigation across the top. Awesome. There's a little problem here, and that is actually because uh, bourbon was just updated, and this needs not to be zero, it needs to be auto. I know that because I messed around with this a little bit earlier. Uh, Bourbon used to allow you to use that position um, uh, mix in and say if you wanted it to be skipped or auto, you would write zero. Um, now you have to write out auto ex explicitly. So um, now in refresh, that, that will be where it should be. What that means is that uh, the refill just needs to catch up with the, the newest version of Bourbon, which came out just last week. So it's not, it's not a big, it's not a big uh, worry. It was just recently. So the next module I want to grab from refills is going to be this cool uh, hero unit. We'll look at the code here, copy it, put it into my index.html, copy the code, the uh, mark, uh, copy the styles, the module called hero. Dot, hero. Dot CSS and import hero into um, into my directory navigation hero and save so when I go back to my example I'm gonna have this really nice hero unit and again look at I have the uh, the defaults that that I put in bidders uh, are flowing throughout and I have uh, a monospace type uh, in my hero that's pretty cool now these are really, really easy to change. This is the icon here. I can go into hero unit and I want to kind of change this background out it. So uh, here's the background. And I have this cool like balloon thingy. Put that in and easily update. There you go. So nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. Uh, ooh, these are really nice. These are good for uh, sales copy. Uh, copy the markup again. This is just the, the pattern that we're following, and, and all these things are so are you know easily editable. Copy the styling. Um, I want to create a new module, and I call these like bullet points. P O I N T S points. And I'm going to import the points. And then when I check it out, there we go. Okay, so and we noticed that we have we don't have, you know, the pleasing margins that we were hoping to have automatically. And um, even though these points are responsive, they're just kind of like, I don't know, they don't look that great right by default because they uh, um, they're 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 crashing right here up against this this other module. And you know what? At first, you'll be like, oh, it didn't work automatically, but then you think, oh, you know, that's actually, that's actually preferable because you can never tell where you're going to put these modules. I mean, what if this showed up inside of a, uh, you know, like a, like an a overlay modal or something, you know, and you need, the, you need the, mo the margins to be a little bit different. So that, that's good. But we do need to go in and kind of carve out the place for them. Now, this is different than the modules. I wouldn't go in and edit the modules of points directly. 
I would go into the layout that this page is in. So this is the home page. I'm gonna go back into that layout.sass and deal with these. And, and uh, so like, what are these guys called? They're called bullets or something. Yeah, bullets is the class. Oops, I meant to copy and paste it. Uh, so home, I'm gonna say bullets. Uh, padding 50, I'm gonna say 100, zero. So they have a nice padding from the top, but also we're, we're kind of like crashing right here where I, I don't think we should. Now this is where I would use um, neat, and I would say uh, you're going to be an outer container. <clears throat> and that's just making the max width uh, 960, and it could be centered with margins. So that's why I used padding right here, not margin, because I wanted to make sure that I was going to have uh, the ability to to center these guys with a outer container. Cool, and that's all we needed to do to fix that out, and that's layout contextualized. Actually, it should be something like dot .home, dot .bullets, and then on your home, you know, HTML, you would say class home. <clears throat> and you would start your uh, home, uh, you'd scope all of these styles into home. Oh, this is when you're thinking big though, so it doesn't matter, whatever. Cool, next one is uh, an article. Oh, these are cool. I like this a lot because you can go in and choose what style of articles. Now these are gonna be scoped, these styles and such are gonna be scoped to the article itself, which is really handy because even though I've said that I want my site to be uh, mono styled, I can, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna choose a, I'm gonna choose a slab. I can have, um, you know, whatever styles are are, uh, are attached to this article itself. So I'm going to show the code. Grab the markup here and throw that in uh, my index.html file. And um, grab the styles. And I'm going to make a new module called article. Called article.css. And that's going to have my article in it. And I need to, again, import that into my uh, modules directory. Article. So, <clears throat> let's take a look. And here's my article heading. Cool. Uh, it's styled just how I would like it. It's, it's really beautifully styled, um, but it's not it's not uh, centered in the, it's not, but it's not styled in the context of the layout. So this layout is home. So I'm gonna go back to my home styling and, and say uh, article, yeah, um, you are gonna be a, uh, what is it called, an outer container. And all of your children are going to be a, um, they're going to span columns. And let's say eight columns, and let's move you guys shit with a shift, two columns. So you guys are nice centered. How does that look? Oh, that looks good. That's really great. Okay, let's go um, refill. There's a lot of other things. Let's skip a few cards. These are cool uh, comment styles, comment modules, tabs, goodness, tables. Oh, these are awesome vertical tabs. Um, wow, that's cool. These are cool. Oh, that's even cooler. Yeah, let's grab this. Show the code. Copy the markup. Put it in my index. And these are all like, you know, all the content and these icons, these are all customizable. Uh, I want to call this module grid, uh, square, square grid, grid items, grid items, grid items, oh dear, grid items dot CSS. Okay, and I'm going to throw that in my 
uh, directory. And save what have we here. I'm assuming it's going to be full width. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's really great. It's full width though. And I did like the look of it being, um, you know, kind of not full width, <laughs> I guess you'd say. So what is this called? It's called grid items? Grid items lines. Um, in the context of my layout, I'm going to say that grid item lines, you need to be an outer container. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Now you can change all these content. You can change the width and the spans of, of these of these grids. This is cool. Uh, article gets a little close there. Well, that's okay. Um, all right, let's let's close this up. Let's put a footer here. Oh, there's a footer. Uh, show the code. Copy the markup. And after my grid lines, put my footer. Module. Create a new module called footer dot CSS and copy it. Copy my footer. Looks good, right? <clears throat> good footer. Uh, and directory. Oops. And <coughs> we should be. Ah, uh, good with the footer. Cool. So I'm going to say those grid items in my home, they need a little space below. So padding bottom 100 pixels. Ooh, margin bottom. That, uh, that revealed this line there but that I don't want. So margin bottom will take that out. That's just because of the way that's the, Anyway, um, cool. So this is this is a a pretty good start to a good looking website, and that was all done just using real refills. I didn't you know really design or code any of this markup. And the cool thing is that it's all customizable, really simply uh, put. And all of the things I wanted, and none of the things I did not want, which is not an option when you're when you're working with Bootstrap or Foundation. I think that if you start using uh, bourbon right away, you will enjoy it just as much as I do. So thank you so much to Kyle for the interview and thank you to you for watching this video. I'd really like to know what you think about bourbon and, and the things that we introduced today. Uh, leave a comment down below and if you liked this video, please uh, please share it with your friends. Also, uh, I have my own channel that I, that I run every uh, new video every Monday on and uh, um, yeah, if you want to see more of my junk, go check it out. It's a dev tips. <laughs> Anyhow, talk to you, talk to you next month. I do a, a video the first Monday of every month here on PHP Academy. And thank you, a big, big thank you to Alex for hosting this video. All right, everybody, take care. Bye.